going on? Listen, we are back. It's Drank, Big Drank, not the little one. Welcome back to Drank World. All right, so we got a situation with Boosie. Boosie's got a situation. We're going to talk about it, right? So 1090 put out a video, I think it was yesterday, about uh, Boosie eating his federal indictment case whatever regarding his uh his pistol case as a felon you know what i mean felons y'all aren't allowed to have guns and it seems like y'all don't really understand that all the time or at least boosie doesn't seem to understand it i'll say because this man got caught on camera in 4k with a handgun in his back waistband or, or whatever the case that original situation ended up being Lost out. Boosie seemed to have beat that. There's a video 1090 Jake put out. You know what I'm saying? I may react to that original video, but as of right now, what we're talking about is how Boosie beat that. And then they turn around seemingly within 24 hours. I, I don't know the exact timeline. He's got the dates. I I'm saying within 24 hours because Jake put out that video. And now seemingly they've got another, uh, another indictment or indictment against Boosie. Attempting to indict him on similar charges of the the handgun but now claiming that because he's a felon with an addiction right so they're going off the whole controlled substance around a handgun while a felon thing they're really trying their best here to get at boost so we're going to react to the uh to that to that information that video from 1090 but before we get into that make sure you drop a like drop a comment and subscribe hit the notification bell turn it on do whatever you got to do to make sure that you don't miss out on another video out of 500 subscribers we're giving away that hundred dollars so do not miss out i don't care if i have to send you a hundred dollar bill a hundred dollar visa gift card 400 quarters cash app you venmo you do whatever you will be getting that hundred dollars and that is not going to any predetermined winner no friends or family is going to the subscribers only i love y'all y'all show love so i want to show love back make sure you're one of the subscribers who gets notified when that video gets done Anyway, let's get right into the content here, man. 1090 talking about Boosie again. Again. Boosie can't seem to stay out of trouble with the feds, bro. Let's get right into it. Beating the feds. Case dismissed. Thrown out in the feds. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of EOS. It's 1090 Jake. No rocking with y'all. Y'all rocking with me. And for this video, we're going to be speaking on Boosie again. Because yesterday, I dropped a video on Boosie beating the feds. Like, literally, beating the feds. Case dismissed. Thrown out. Whatever. He's good. He goes down to Orlando, Universal Studios. 30 family members with him. Flew the whole fam out. And then, boom. We get the news that Boosie has been reindicted. On July 24th, 2024, Boosie took the Instagram with his family at Orlando's Volcano Bay. Look this at the timing. Look at the timing, man. They have no, they have no, they give no fucks, bro. They, the they contacted and did all this while this man seemed to have been Boosie would take out with his family. My man is at Disney World with his family or Orlando, whatever he said. Hey, look at this. He's on vacation with his family. The lawyer calls him and says that the federal prosecutor has indicted him again on the same charges and added a charge that he was a drug addict around a firearm. Boosie needs to be able to type better. Why didn't they charge him with that in the first? That's a good question. That's what I want to know. What do you guys think about? It? Does he deserve this after recent? Judge seems to want to lock up Boosie rather than a old in the people um have a, a bigger take down boot for whatever reason you know what i'm saying man beats i mean it's, it's obvious as to why the feds want to beat the feds multiple times at this point god damn take the twitter stating i'm on vacation with my family my lawyer called me and said this federal prosecutor m wheat has indicted me again on the same charge and added a charge that I was a drug addict around a firearm. Shake my head. Why you didn't charge me with that the first time? The right. judges ruled at this point you're making this a circus. Right. This has to be unconstitutional. This shows how far these devils will go to try and stop a successful black man with a voice. They'll go this to stop anyone. They'll try to stop you. Of hate against me. He wants to be a character in a movie. He just doesn't respect the courts. He's racist. 
and has no respect for the courts. If I wasn't Boosie, this would not be happening to me. This same man looked at me and said, write me down on my first court appearance, LOL. That's He's crazy obsessed. work. I've never seen nothing like this in my damn life. Tell some, to, to, to be a judge and, and to tell the, the person that you're dealing with, you know, to reference their work, their art, that shows that you have some real malice towards this person. He does not like Boosie, and it's clear. I mean, to tell him, wipe me down during his first interaction with the judge is crazy. Or uh, with his first interaction with Boosie is crazy work. I mean, to ever say it is crazy work, but especially on your... Gotta do better. On vacation, and I get this news. He put the hardest battles on his strongest soldiers. God got me. This man doesn't respect the law. Tell the president pardon this bullshit. Justice for Boosie. Now this is devastating. News literally broke how Boosie was the first rapper and second person to have felony gun charges dismissed following USA vs. Duarte, where it was ruled unconstitutional to ban nonviolent felons from possessing firearms. This was hope to the more than 19 million felons in the US that actual reform may be coming. Because it isn't just about changing your own actions. You could become the greatest man or woman after prison and still be held back by felony convictions, preventing you from voting, renting, working, and obviously the right to arm and defend yourself. A felony is a lifelong sky that now former President Trump wears like many of us, and this may be the start of a new beginning. So how the fuck were the feds able to re-indict Boosie after the charges were already dismissed. That's the whole on July question. July 16, 2024, Boosie could be oh, seen I hope these interviews on Vlad, Vlad didn't play a role, bro. Only four days after having his gun case Please. dismissed. Over the next three days, more clips would drop, one of which Boosie and Vlad would address and laugh off the snitch allegations the internet tried to put on Boosie regarding his case. Not only did Boosie not have a co-defendant, he had a hired armed security guard whose sole purpose was to provide security with a gun. So I don't understand how Boosie telling the police that he didn't have any guns, but his security did, was snitching. Especially when Boosie hired the motherfucker because he legally has guns and does security. But the internet right. remains undefeated, and when Boosie's case was dismissed, they had no other explanation as to how he could have pulled it off except snitching. Well, here's it's the always going to be what they go for. On July 19th, the same day the video came out, federal prosecutors filed a new indictment charging Boosie again okay, with so this being is the a felon in possession they, they, of a They fight. charged him the same day as the Vlad TV interview. Let's pay attention to that. Let's pay attention to that. I'm not saying necessarily Vlad has anything to do with that, but that does show that they pay attention to this content, man. They pay attention Aram, to this content. For the same Block 19 that he had dismissed, on top of a new charge for being an unlawful user or addict in possession of a firearm. The feds are now alleging that Boosie is an addict as They're defined in Title Boosie 21 United addict. States Code Section they find 80. Him, they found some, I think he's gonna discuss it. Point or some shit. So that's why they're going to try to pin Boozy as an addict. I, I don't understand how they can use a joint and try to claim that the man is an addict, but hey. Two, which states the term addict means any individual who habitually uses any narcotic drug so as to endanger the public morals, health, safety, or welfare, or who is so far addicted to the use of narcotic drugs as to have lost the power of self-control with reference to his addiction. How could they claim that so the I, man has lost power of self-control? He runs an entire, if I'm not mistaken, an entire label. He's an unsigned artist. Does all of his work himself. Let's look at this. Let's look, look at this. The term addict means any individual who habitually uses any narcotic drug so as to endanger the public morals, health, safety, or welfare, or who is so far addicted to the narcotic drugs as to have lost the power of self-control with reference to I don't see how any of that or how Boosie falls into that category at all. But go ahead. Self control with reference to his addiction. So, how the fuck does that apply to Boosie? Looking at his arrest, Boosie could be seen in screenshots recovered by San Diego police smoking a suspected marijuana joint. Right. When the vehicle Boosie was riding was pulled over, marijuana. officers located a suspected marijuana joint in the center console of the vehicle. 
Being that this was in California, no one was charged with the joint, and it's unclear if the joint was even confiscated. It's also unclear how it's assumed that they're in a Boosie's completely weed legal three state. Three people were in the vehicle, and Boosie was the most in the rear weed. passenger seat, while the center console is typically used by the driver. A United suspected States marijuana joint. They don't even confirm. Wheat is now alleging Boosie is addicted to controlled substances and was using controlled substances while possessing the Glock 19. Federally, marijuana is still a Schedule One controlled substance, along with heroin and meth. So instead of clarifying Boosie allegedly smoked weed in the legalist state to smoke it, California, Mr. Wheat would use his 30 plus years experience as a federal attorney to make it sound as if Boosie was riding around with a Glock smoking meth. Now I'm interested in viewing how the feds will allege Boosie endangers public morals, health, safety, right, or welfare right. by smoking weed. Or how Boosie is so far addicted he's lost the power of self-control. That, because this that's is what the I'm definition getting at. of an addict the feds are using. So that's essentially what they'll have to prove. Even looking So they're gonna have to prove all of these things against Boosie, and I think they're gonna have a very hard time. I mean, they're paying so much attention to him, they have to know exactly what he's got going on, all the business that he's got going all the different types of endeavors and Boosie is not a uh uh an artist that has other people taking care of for him obviously he employs people things you know he employs people and implores them to do things but like outside of that Boosie himself handles most of his business i would assume you know what i'm saying you gotta assume Boosie's handling most of his business by himself uh when he's an unsigned artist etc Man, they, they're doing everything in their power to get at Boosie. Let me know what y'all think, man, down below, down below in the comments. Y'all comment. Let me know what you think about this whole situation. Do you think Boosie's going to beat this one? He's beat multiple other Fed cases at this point. So do you think he can get away with this one? Let me know down below, man. Hit that subscribe button. Drop a like. And do all that shit. Hit the notification bell. Remember, at 500 subscribers, we're giving away that $100. I want to make sure y'all are in there. We're giving away only to the subscribers. No predetermined winners, no friends or family. So make sure you're one of the subscribers with the notifications on. And you will be entered at 500. We're giving it away $100. I don't care if I got to ship it to you, get you a Visa card, any of that shit. Cash app, whatever, man. Anyway, I'm out this shit. See y'all in the next video, man. Let me know down below what y'all think it is.